So I screwed up. <clears throat> Let me explain. I lost some video clips of me getting this put back together. But, uh, yeah, I, I look like a dork. Whatever. Anyway, so what we've got is I've got this crankshaft in. I measured these bolts. So these are the two new bolts that uh, I had put in. This one was broken, and this one was still okay-ish. Um, but I did measurements on the bolts. And the length of those bolts, for anyone who's interested, is these are 129 millimeters long. And the one that I snapped, I obviously couldn't measure that very good. But the one that I didn't snap, I could take out and measure it. And I did measure it, and it came in at 132 millimeters. And I measured all the other ones that I torqued up to 88 foot-pounds. And those all were measuring in at factory 129. So I was good there. So it was very interesting. I definitely, uh, I definitely uh, stretched those bolts farther than they were supposed to go. So what I wound up doing is just doing the usual, you know, just going around in a circle. And this one had four steps. And the first step was 37 foot-pounds. Then I went back again at 37 foot-pounds. So I did every pass twice uh, because they do shift on you. And then I did, uh, the next one was 44 foot-pounds. I don't know why they were so close, but they were. And the next one was 66 foot-pounds. And then the final one was 90 degrees. And all the bolts held just fine. Not an issue. So, at any rate, uh, I'm going to take you over here. I'm going to start working on... Turn the light off. I'm going to start working on the rear crankshaft seal. So I'm just going to clean up that area. And I think this is probably all I'm going to do today. But I wanted to show you what Interstate McB, how they ship their stuff. They really do a nice job. I've already gotten into this one and I haven't even opened the upper gasket kit, but I'm pretty impressed with it. I really am. I mean, they sell it in, it's nice presentation, all that stuff. I don't know why I think that stuff matters, but I like it. What can I say? At any rate, uh, join me back in a few. I'm gonna maybe do a time lapse or two, uh, but I'm gonna do some wire wheeling of the old cover, get the old seal out and stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Aluminum, be careful. Bye bye. I'm gonna hit that just slightly try to get rid of some of this see what that looks like yeah you can kind of see
It's a little line. I ain't really that worried. It's nice and smooth, so we're good there. All right, so here's our, uh, what is it? Crankshaft seal, the rear one, okay? And here's the seal itself. It only goes one way. This lip right here rides on the inside. This goes in like this after you get this thing seated properly. And then this tool, get off of there, wire. Can't be the only one with random wires around. This sets the depth. So that fits in here. And if you look, you'll see that's exactly where it goes. So this is going to wind up looking like this when we're done. Um, but it'll be set at the proper depth. But the nice part is, is Cummins was nice enough to taper this whole thing. So you can kind of see, see that little thin line edge? It's beveled. So it almost looks like a, a throttle body on a car. So you can see it's beveled. That means this thing just sits part way in already. And you're good to go. So I don't know if anyone recommends doing anything different, but... I usually just start tapping away. I go tap, 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 tap. Anyone watches AVE? Just... You could probably go nuts and measure it, but good enough for me. So one thing to notice about this is you see how it's uh, wider up here, and then it tapers down. And again, you'll see it in a minute, but that presses on to the back of the crankshaft and ensures that this lip here seats properly. It'll make more sense once I get it in there. But, there you go. Just like that. Again, I don't know why I geek out over this stuff, but... I don't know why I like that, but I just do. You're gonna watch me struggle. going smooth. Seals on. You're like, oh no, what do I do with the gasket? Not that hard. That's why it's uh, arranged in that manner. So as long as you don't slide this over too far. Be good to go. Gaskets say they're made in the USA. There you go. Okay, so those are eight millimeter. Uh, I'm going to go grab some Loctite. Uh, I'm gonna use blue, it came with red. I'm not really that concerned about it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what the torque spec is. I'll be back. All right, so. The internet didn't reveal much, but seven foot pounds, foot pounds, seven, 84 inch pounds. I'm assuming you can see that. 84 of them, huh? 
It ain't much, let's just put it that way. Could not hurt to just go over and over. There we go. That's done. And that's where I'm going to leave it for the night. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you up here with me. I'm going to show you the lip on that seal. Forgive me, I'm not very good at this. It says install lip dry, so that's why I didn't lubricate it. But you'll see right there is the lip. It's kind of raised out a little bit. Depending on what I do with the light, you can see it. So, you just want to make sure that that's going around. That looks good. So we can give this a little crank. It's all good. Thanks for joining me. We will see you, uh, I don't know when the next time I'm going to get out here and do this, but I will. Promise.